Hey guys, <clears throat> happy Tuesday night. I'm gonna give it a minute for you guys to hop on. I'm gonna share this over to my coaching page and then we'll start talking about doing the damn thing, whatever that thing is for you. I don't care what that thing is. Whatever the thing is, start doing the thing. Make sure this shows up on my page. Hey. Hello ladies, just sharing this to my coaching page and then I'm going to get started. Hey Laura, I'm like pretty good at multitasking but I still get like distracted. <laughs> I'm like wait what was I doing again? All right, and then I have to make sure that I share it to the right page because I have my coaching page but then I have relax this is gonna suck so I like, okay. All right, so let's get started talking about doing the thing, whatever that thing is for you. So first of all, my name is Ann Livingston. I'm a spiritual mindset coach, and I help women find their self-confidence through self-care. I also drop a lot of truth, truth, truth bombs, can't talk tonight, and I give a lot of tough love. My clients know that if they don't want to face their shit, then they shouldn't be talking to me. <laughs> my day was awesome, Kobe. Thank you. I had tons of mindset calls today. I did um, an intuitive group coaching in my virtual classroom and all kinds of stuff. So today was really, it was full. It was a really productive day. Thank you, though. So I, this topic came up. I was like sitting here before I went live because I had so many things that I could talk about. Um, and I was like, I don't even know exactly where I want to begin. But what really started to come through, because I talked to a lot of women today. And I was like, what was the main theme that I talked about today? Or what's like the main theme that I feel like I keep talking to people over and over and over again? Today I did the intuitive group coaching. And so there was, you know, an overarching message there. Last night Shakti and I did our podcast and we talked about making committed decisions. And so I was like, I really need to talk to you guys about just doing the thing that you are wanting to do, that you're feeling called to do. Because one message that keeps coming up over and over and over again with the women who I've been talking to is I keep hearing like, well, I want to do this thing, whatever it is, whether it's make a move, start a business. Um, those are those are a lot of the big ones. Like starting a business is a big one that I hear a lot. Um, starting a new job, leaving a relationship, all kinds of things. Like I want to do this thing, but I don't know exactly how to do it. So I'm just going to sit here and wait for the answers and then hope that at some point I'll receive clarity. Now, yeah, sometimes when you sit and, you know, meditate or connect to yourself, you will gain clarity. That happens, right? It's a reason why I meditate every single morning. It's a reason why I work out every single morning because I gain ideas and clarity and all of that when I take care of myself. But I've told women over and over and over again, I'm like, listen, guys, you don't know how to do something until you just start doing it. So I want to I want to share an example from my personal life because I know a lot of you guys follow my journey, but some of you are new to me as well. Um, I started living a nomadic life a little over a year ago. So the little backstory for those of you who are new or don't know the full story is that February of 2017, I had just basically ended a relationship. And I started to get this little nudge of like, what would happen if you sold all of your stuff, like didn't renew your lease in Chicago, sold all your stuff and hit the road. And I was like, well, that's an interesting idea. That sounds really fun. Like it excites me, right? So that's, first of all, if something excites you, if you feel like you get butterflies thinking about it, pay attention, pay attention to that. That is your soul trying to tell you, like nudge you on the right path of like, yeah, go in that direction. That feels good. But too often, we receive that little nudge and then immediately ego, our mind comes in and was like, well, I don't know how to do that. So, you know, that's a crazy idea. It doesn't make sense. I don't know how. And you immediately start talking yourself down instead of asking yourself, how could I do that? If this is something that I truly desire and excites me, how could I do that? And so the idea came to me and of course ego was like, well, that doesn't make any sense. You don't own a car, you have cats, you're not currently really making enough to like stay in a variety of Airbnbs. Like it didn't make any sense whatsoever. 
and I didn't know how. I didn't know how to do it. I knew other people who had lived nomadic lives, but I didn't know anyone who had done it without a car and with two cats, right? So I was like, okay, well, I wanna do this thing, but again, it doesn't make any sense. So how am I gonna do this? And when I started telling people, like my family, like, hey dad, guess what? So I kinda have this crazy idea of selling all my shit and hitting the road. And like, my family thought I was crazy. <laughs> they thought I was, they're like, how? Like, and I was like, I don't know how. I don't know how. And I visited my parents in Italy and they had a lot of concerns, as they probably should have. They had a lot of concerns, they had a lot of questions and I didn't know any of the answers, which probably didn't make them feel any better at all, right? Like, so Anne, how are you gonna do this? I don't know. So where are you gonna go? I don't know. What, what types of places are you gonna stay in? I don't know, like I didn't have any answers, right? But I knew that I wanted this thing. So how do you get from being, like having an idea, having a desire to actually doing the thing? You just start taking action. And I know it sounds so simple, right? And it's just as simple to do as it is not to do. I started with selling my shit which when I first started to get rid of stuff, it was like, okay, these are the things that have kind of been hidden in the back of the closet, not a big deal. It just kind of feels like spring cleaning, right? So I started there, but then things got bigger. Like I started getting rid of appliances <laughs> in my kitchen, right? Like old wedding gifts, for instance. Um, I started selling my TVs. Uh, then things got even bigger. I started selling my bed. I sold the piano that I had, which had been in my family for, I think since like the seventies. Um, I mean, it became very real, very quickly. And there were a lot of emotions. And this was another, this is another thing. A lot of times people think like, well, if I'm, if I'm experiencing resistance or if I'm, um, experiencing um, doubt. Of course I had doubt, you guys. It was a crazy fucking idea. Of course I had doubt, you know. But it was like, even in the midst of the emotions, even in the midst of the doubt, I still had this gut feeling, right? I was like, this is still the right choice. It still feels good. And, you know, the day that I drove out of Chicago on my way to Mississippi, Oh, so those of you guys who don't know exactly what happened, I ended up renting a car. Um, so I didn't have a car. I ended up renting a car. My cats are with me. Um, and that was something I got asked a lot. Like, well, how are you going to travel with your cats? Cats don't really typically travel well. And I just trusted they would be fine. Yeah, you know, like cats, no, they don't typically travel well. However, I know my cats really well. And I know that they feed off of my energy. And I know, I mean, all animals do. And I was like, as long as I stay really calm and grounded and really take care of myself, they'll be fine. And they've been fine. It's been over a year now that I've been living on the road and they've been fine. Um, but I had to just start taking action steps, right? And I will tell you that when I got to Mississippi, the moment I started to not so much, I didn't doubt myself and I didn't necessarily doubt the experience, but I started to give into the fear. And the moment I started to give into the fear, the moment I started to give into the uncertainty and the worry and all the things that start to come up when you make some huge big leap of faith, things started to spiral downward. Um, I ended up like my income basically dried up. Clients started dropping off. And of course that like triggered more fear within me, right? Um, and so through that time I had to go back and really focus on why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? When it would be so easy to just throw in the towel and be like, well, I guess this wasn't the right choice. I guess this was a really stupid decision. I guess I fucked it up, right? It would be so easy to just throw in the towel, but I still had that deep knowing in, in my core that it was the right choice. And so again, I just kept taking action step after action step after action step. And so that is my message to you guys today. Whatever the thing is that you are wanting to do, if you have the deep desire to do it, there's a reason that desire is there. Period. End of story. If you have a deep desire, you don't have to, you don't have to be able to explain it or justify it. No one else needs to understand it because they're not on your journey. They're not on your path 
right? They don't understand why you have this deep desire and that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that they don't understand it. What matters is that you understand and you listen to it, that you listen to that deep desire and then you just start paying attention to the little nudges. What is one action step I can take? Okay, now what's another action step I can take? And just keep paying attention to the nudges and before you know it, you'll be doing the thing that you never believed you were able to do. You know, people say to me all the time, like, God, Anne, you have a really high risk tolerance, and I do. I take a big leap of faith, and I trust that the parachute will open at some point. I trust that if I fall, there will be a net to catch me, and the reason I'm always okay is because I have that belief. I know that no matter what, I will figure it out. I know that I'm resourceful. I can trust that. I have that level of confidence in myself. But I have that level of trust and confidence in myself because I show up for myself. I take care of myself. I do the things that I say I'm gonna do. And so I challenge you to really honor yourself and really do every single thing that you say you're gonna do, do it. Show up for yourself. Every single time you say you're going to do something and then you don't do it, you break trust with yourself. And you can't build confidence if you are continuously breaking trust with yourself. So that is my message for you guys today. If you're interested in working with me, I do have one-on-one -on -one spots available. I also have spots available in my uh, virtual classroom, which is a group coaching program, but it's so much more than that. And um, feel free to comment below or shoot me a message, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.